Edwin with Touchstone, and I'm going to show you how to install our Whisper Lift 2 TV Lift Kit in our uh, Elevate cabinets. It's very easy, and we're going to show you the steps now. Here's the Whisper Lift 2 TV Lift mechanism. It comes in this box here. We took it out and I laid it out here for you to see. The main part of it is the uh, TV Lift mechanism here, the Whisper Lift 2. And it comes with two horizontal brackets that will mount to the lift, which we'll show you. Two TV mounts that will uh, connect to the back of your television. The touchstone control box. The power supply to operate the lift the manual remote control that will plug into the control box, your RF remote control to operate the lift up and down, and your TV mounting screws to mount the rails to the television and also your locking clips to lock the TV into place is the last step. Now we have our Mission Oak Elevate here as an example. We're going to show you how to install the lift. We have it open here obviously and on the bottom of the cabinet you have an orange pack that comes with all the parts that you'll need to mount the lift into the cabinet. And in our pack here, first you have an Allen key to lock down each bolt. You have a uh, pack of the Allen screws, six for the floor and two for the back. And you have the lock washers and the washers for it and also it comes with a touch up pen if it's a finished cabinet see here how to remove the panels before you get started. You have turns on here. And both sides will come out. Come out from the inside, so just remember that when you're loosening the uh, the screws holding them in. Next step is to put the lift mechanism in the cabinet. It's pretty heavy. You may need two people. It's about 45 pounds. And just set it down. And you can see here that the inserts are already in the cabinet, which help because you'll just place the lift over top of those and thread over them with the. Uh, provided. Now keep in mind the arms don't always line up. There is some play in them if you need to loosen the bolts to get them to line up exactly how you need them. Usually start just by getting them hand tight. Have your two on the back.
Last are for securing the lift into the cabinet. Use the Allen key provided and finish tightening up your bolts so that the lift is secure. The two on the back and the six on the floor. Next, we're going to show you how to secure the electronics to operate the lift in the cabinet. They will all come with Velcro in the back that you just have to peel off and stick, and we'll show you the locations that we recommend for you to put them. First, I'm going to plug in the handset remote, and we suggest that the best place for the control box is behind the lift mechanism, centered here. And that way you have access to all your plug inserts. We usually put the remote in the upper right hand corner that you can access if you ever misplace your handheld remote. You can open the lid manually to get to it and run the lift up or down that way. And last we suggest to put the power supply on the bottom back wall right here and this allows you to run the power plug up to the control box and run the main power out of the cabinet through the bottom hole here Last is the actuator plug, which is located on top. Now we're ready to operate the lift. Yep. Now that we have the lift installed and the electronics plugged in, I'm going to run the lift up. Next we're going to mount the horizontal bars onto the lift that the TV will mount to. You can start by, they attach, we attach the bolts here, the nuts and bolts, so you can undo these. The first horizontal bar will attach five down from the top. So one, two, three, four, and the fifth. And for starters here, we'll just get them hand tight. Make sure you get them at least hand tight before you let go. Now the second horizontal bar will go down seven holes so that the TV mounting bars will hook correctly the space between. You need to make sure you have this the correct distance apart. So we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once again make sure these are at least hand tight before tightening with the wrench. Before you go further, if you'd like to test, you can grab one of the rails that will be going on your television and just make sure that you have the height correct that it will lock on. Once you have your TV lift mechanism installed in the bottom of the cabinet and safely secured, you can put your panels back in 
Once again, it's going to enter from the inside of the cabinet and close here, and you'll have to do the turns to lock it into place. Now that we have the horizontal bracket secured tightly, I'm going to show you the, how the TV mounts with the TV mounting brackets. We have our TV here, and um, we're going to lay it down to put the mounts on. And as you can see, we, we mounted these already, and we mount them in such a way that if you have it where they're, the top horizontal rail is five down, you're going to want to get the top of the TV rail as close as you can to parallel with the top of the television and every flat screen television will have mounting holes in the back of it and that's when you will use the mounting screws that we provide you'll use four out of the big pack so you'll have some left over and once they're secured tightly with the slots at the top and the holes at the bottom we suggest using two people this is a smaller TV so I can do it myself but pick it up and hang it on the horizontal brackets. The top first, and the bottom comes down, and we'll lock in if you pick up the last little bit. And lastly, to secure it in place, the TV lift will come with locking brackets to keep the TV from sliding. You'll have two, and two screws. For either side, I'm going to show you this side here. And usually what I like to do is get it started. And then this will slide on the bottom part of the TV bracket. And once you have it into position, It'll tighten it down and it will lock it to the horizontal bracket. We suggest tightening with a screwdriver to get the last bit so it's tight and it will not slide and your TV is locked into position. If you purchase the optional component shelf, I'm going to show you how to mount that now. We have the shelf put together here, and it will attach just like the horizontal brackets. It is adjustable height-wise. I'm going to put it on the third hole on each side so it's level. You slide the bolts through, hold it, and get the nuts on the back tightened. First get them hand tight so it's secured. Now that we have the add-on component shelf attached properly to the lift mechanism, we're ready to use. And most of our customers will put a cable box on one side and a Blu-ray player on the other and have the, their cables hang off the back. And one of the nice things about our lift too is that you don't have to worry about them getting pinched or caught in the lift as long as they're long enough to reach to the components. And now you're able to enjoy your TV lift cabinet.
you have any questions while you're installing your lift into your Elevate cabinet, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-215-1990.